Mmm, Jupiter three ways. Let's go ahead and process Jupiter from a very small telescope up to a, a modest setup. Perfect timing for Jupiter opposition here and show you how to get some great data out of your Jupiter images. Welcome to SETI Astro. So be sure you have the latest version of SETI Astro Suite Pro. As always, go to SETIastro.com, Astro Pro Room SETI Astro Suite Pro, and then you can scroll down and get the download here from the GitHub, the mirror sites for Windows and other OSs. And again, pip install SETI Astro Suite Pro or just running it straight from GitHub. Now you are going to need version 1.7.1 to use some of these new features that I want to show you. But with the opposition of Jupiter right now, I want to show you Jupiter three ways. And you will see even from a relatively small telescope where, where Jupiter is like 20 pixels across, maybe, uh, we could still get data out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the planetary stacker. And the first one I want to show you has to do with uh, the new blink feature in here. So let me go ahead and open the stacker and uh, let's analyze this Jupiter video here. And you're gonna notice now it's step one, analyze. Step two, edit alignment points. Now step three, blink the keepers. And then st step four is gonna be stack. So let's see what uh, blinking is gonna do for us now. So analyze is done. And now if I click blink keepers, we're gonna get a new window here where you could use like the left and right keyboard keys uh, to like move forward and backwards. But you're gonna notice this particular camera has a lot of dropped and split frames. You can see right here where Jupiter's like split. I'm gonna just press the R button. You could also hit the reject down here or the space bar and reject that frame. Same with this one, there's another split there. And then if I go backwards, to review those rejected frames, you can see it says reject it down here now. And when you hit R to reject it, it's gonna auto advance for you to the next frame as well. So between using the left and right arrow keys and just pressing R to reject frames, we could actually reject any bad ones that you may see in here so they don't end up in the final stack. And uh, it's gonna be common on some camera types where you do get split frames and it's absolutely imperative. You wanna get rid of those uh, so they don't end up in your final stack. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blink through these keepers and get rid of all those split frames. And I'm done, I'm just gonna click okay. And now that it says I kept 105 of them. So now I'm just gonna click stack now. And now it's just gonna stack those ones that we're keeping, we're, that we're not rejecting. And the stack is done. And so this is going to be our first Jupiter. This is actually the same Jupiter data you saw last time. Uh, so we'll just do a quick process with this. This is really just to show that new blink feature for you. I'm going to go ahead and open our multi-scale decomposition. Give it a, a boost there on layer three and a little on layer four. And then, and then again, maybe we want to just do one more round. Let's see if there's a little detail in scale two there maybe a li little bit more in the scale four and just a little bit more in the eight. And, and there we go. Pulled out all that detail from Jupiter, almost like magic. Multi-scale decomposition with planetary stacker is, it's just magic. The next one here is with a small telescope. So let's go ahead and open our video and you're gonna see absolutely how tiny this Jupiter is. So this is uh, Bayard still. You could literally see like all the pixels here. So even though we have it set for D Bayer auto, it didn't find the pattern correctly. So you can now switch between the Bayer patterns and force it to the correct pattern. And I have noticed a lot of AVI files actually encode them um, via the wrong endedness, so to speak. So you may notice your Bayer pattern may be different than even what your camera says but it allows you to quickly just flip through and make sure you're, you're on the correct uh, Bayer pattern so it correctly debayers your image. But let's go ahead and stack this little, little tiny Jupiter now. I'm gonna click Analyze, and this is 8,200 frames. And then you're gonna notice something really weird. There's a big spike here. You're like, what's going on? And if you blink the keepers, there's this awful mess here. And 
No worries. What that is, if you go back to play, and we'll play and look at our Jupiter, but the very last frame is garbage. And it's seeing all this sharp detail and thinking that's the best image. Clearly it's not. So I've also included a trimmer now where we can trim off those last few frames because that's where the bad one is. You could also trim the, the start as well. I'm gonna save the trimmed SCR now. It's gonna go ahead and trim our video for us. All right, and now it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna open it? Sure do. So now let's go ahead and open the stacker. We'll reanalyze and we should see a, a nice, beautiful quality curve again. There we go. That's what we were expecting to see. And we have so many, so many images in this one, 8,200. Even stacking the, the top 4% is gonna be 329. We can go ahead and, and blink these, but this camera is really good. It's not actually gonna have any dropped frames for us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click stack now. Here's our stack. And you're gonna go, oh man, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, there's nothing here. It's just a blurry little nothingness. But fear not, let's, let's work some magic. Let's just zoom right up in here and give it some sharpening now. And you could start to see the bands of Jupiter coming through. And even at a, a radius of two, that might be too much here. So I'm gonna apply that to the document. We're starting to get something here. Importantly, the, the white balance isn't correct. So I'm just gonna click white balance and just say apply. It's gonna go, oh, I think I found a star. I actually just found Jupiter. And now, and now we have a white balance too. And now I'm gonna open the multi-scale decomposition at, again. And you can see how few pixels there is of Jupiter. But let's, let's give it a little bit more. Let's see if we can get more data out of this. And it's pretty bright right now. So we may even want to open curves and tone down our curve of Jupiter here a little bit. Okay, all right, let's 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 just a little bit more. And that's probably what we're gonna get. But importantly, that's that's an object. That's That's a real thing. This telescope was really small. We were like, 20 pixels across, maybe. We can uh, resample it. Maybe we want to just make it four times bigger. And is it, you know, an earth shattering photo of Jupiter? No, but for this little tiny telescope to capture detail on the surface of Jupiter, it just, it just blew the particular user away. And I, I just love this kind of stuff. Finally, we'll do Jupiter one more way. In this case, the Bayer auto detection, uh, the blue and the red channels definitely are swapped. So I'm going to go down to BGGR to, to swap them back. I'm going to click open the stacker. And then this time I'm going to, I'm going to take the, the lazy way. I'm going to analyze and just stack and just go for it. This is from a little uh, higher end setup, but I'm just going to go ahead and, and stack it. I'm not going to worry about anything. Like I said, I'm just going to take the, the easier route with this one. And we're done. Now, first things first with this, let's go ahead and correct the, the white balance. So I'm just going to click white balance. I'm going to say apply. It doesn't matter if these blobs look weird. It's just going to do its thing. And now we have a proper white balance. And again, let's, let's go ahead and start working some magic here. I'm going to go ahead and in this case, we'll start with uh, scale two. We're starting to get some detail at scale two. So most of it's going to be in scale four here. And yeah, we're probably gonna be able to crank that all the way up. And then a little on eight, we'll apply the document. And then uh, maybe just one more, one more round of multi-scale decomposition magic. And again, let's look at scale two, see if there's any additional we can get out of there. Not a whole lot. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go pretty easy with scale two. Again, a little bit more on scale four. And then maybe a touch on eight. And let me just make a duplicate so we can do a before and after as well. As a reminder, here was before and then after. What multi-scale decomposition can actually pull out of your data is just, it's just magic. I don't know how else to describe it. Before and after.
So there we have it, Jupiter three ways from a very tiny telescope where Jupiter is only a handful of pixels across and still getting to see the storm bands on it. To a larger setup where we got the great red spot, no problems, and this was in poor seeing conditions anyways. There's the new blink tool within Planetary Stacker itself. And don't be afraid to use like white balance and curves and everything else that Study has Suite has to offer to process your uh, planets as well. Well, I hope everybody's getting some great Jupiter shots out there during the opposition. Please comment, like, and subscribe.